Heads up. Yes, these are for you. Oh. Look alive. Look alive. What new orders, sir? Time for you to leave. I'd prefer to remain by your side, but I'll abide by your command. Uh. Yes. Okay. I will be picking you up in just a moment. I just yes. need to talk to Cods quick. Hey, buddy. Sir, a, a moment, perhaps? Sure, Codsworth. What's up? Oh, just a little something I'd like to get off the old proverbial chest. I, I just want to say what an honor it is for me to accompany you. You've no idea the horror these past two centuries have wrought. The initial destruction? Not knowing if you and your family were all right? Uh, it was a relief just to find the entrance intact. That must have been hard on you. How did you move past it? At first, it was the work. Busying myself day and night, and believe me, there was plenty of it. But eventually, the work became light chores. What truly saved me was my memories, sir. Memories of you and the missus. Young Shaw, of your love and kindness, I soldiered on, fueled by hope that one day, if not you and the wife, that Sean, or perhaps Sean's children, would one day emerge. You don't regret it? All the waiting? Never. If you ask hey, why bad? Welcome in. All 200 years. I just wanted you to know how much I consider you family. I may be a mere robot to some, but I, I do hope you've come to Anna see us. Stop. What? I consider you to be family too, Codsworth. He's my brother. In this world, <laughs> the long haul. Ah, yes. Together. Wonderful Sir, siblings. You don't know how wonderful it is for me to hear that. I feel completely recharged. Well, enough blither blather from me. Let's get back to it, shall we? Hey, Codsworth. May I accompany you, sir? Oh. Would you like to? Why, yes, of course, sir. Please do. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll come back for Ada in a bit. All right. You know, we'll go do that one. Sir, if I might bend your ear for a moment. Oh, sure. Of course. Go right ahead. <laughs> so gracious, sir. I do appreciate it. I've always had such admiration for you and your family. Ever since the day my visual senses were first switched off. You and the missus, so good with young Sean, and so trusting of me to look after such a newborn bundle of joy. It just warms my nuclear core. So you can imagine the distress I felt. His in the nuclear vault. core. You fled to the vault. I searched but found no evidence of your death. I could only hope you all made it in time. And when you returned, I was overjoyed. I admit I ran a full diagnostic scan just to make sure I wasn't malfunctioning. <laughs> but the news, the news of the missus and Sean, believe me when I say it takes a true hero to live through that. I'm no hero, Codsworth. Believe me. Don't sell yourself short, sir. In such a bleak world as this, think of all you've witnessed and all you've done. In my 200 years, I've seen it tear good men and women apart. But you, sir, you have remained the very model of what humanity should aspire to be. Thank you, Codsworth. That means a lot. No thanks necessary, sir. I wouldn't hear of it. I truly believe if the Commonwealth is to turn He's so annoying. around, you're the one to do it. Now, yeah, Melissa, I would not do that. I stand firm in my belief. Let's get back to it. Hey. Something you need, sir? Take this. It's time for you to head home. As you wish, sir. I'll be at the homestead. Cheerio. There we go. Well, 
If you do that, then you won't be able to chat anymore. Now, where's the fun in that? If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Hey, Ada. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? Uh. Time to hit the road. Understood. Please, lead on. Yeah, you would have no more annoying brother, but it would also make your mom really sad. So it, you have to balance it out. Is that really worth it? And I'm pretty sure you make Kawa sad too. And what about Aunt Scarlet? Excuse me. Hey there, friend. Look, we're in some real trouble. Maybe you can help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? It's just damn greenskins, the super mutants. Whenever they come through, we just have to run away or hide. They take everything they can eat and destroy most everything else. And if they ever took us by surprise, we'd all be dead. We can't live like this. Please. You gotta help us. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Oh God, I hope so. We didn't know what to do. All right. Let's go kill some super mutants. Where's the fraternal post? Oh, oh, it's right beside campus law offices. Well, that's scar. Yeah, but it always helps to have more people for the community. You know. What? Oh, now it's on. It's up. Raiders. Covering fire. Damn, old Paul. Done and dusted. What were you shooting? I didn't even see. Alright, let's see if y'all had anything good on you. I suggest we take as much as we can carry. Generally I'd agree. Oh, and I also realized something. Coming through here without any food. AJ will have Kaba's new friend. No, that's not how it works. You want more of a community. Always remember that. It's always nice to have more people around, more people to talk to. All right, I'll cap it at about. Two hundred pounds, I'd say. Honestly, I'll cook all this up. And I'll call that good. Stay sharp. Don't let the guard down. What are you building? There we go. Kawa ages like my bro. He loves food like me. Aww. 
Y'all are adorable. But yeah. And if you really do, do, do you want to deprive people of uh, being around you? It wouldn't be fun for anybody. You make a bunch of people sad. So no hurdy self for other people. Deal? Even if your brother is being a butt. But there's always one thing you have to remember. The siblings are not always going to get along. Your brother's going to think you're a butthead. You're going to think he's annoying. But unfortunately... It's the old adage, you can't choose your family. The only family you can choose is found family. Whoa! Completely good. Damn. Anyways. You are best big sister ever. Aw. It's happy cry face. Because you said something very nice. Good, because that should have never been on the table. Be careful. It's too dark here to maintain an accurate threat assessment. Hmm. Wait, what am I mi- I'm an idiot. I forgot to bring my goddamn. forgot to bring my goddamn power armor. Am I wearing the best ones I can wear, though? Like, is the Hellfire, like, super good? I, do I seriously have nothing else with... With adhesive at all? Hmm. Okay, note to self, keep an eye out for adhesive. Plastic cloth and asbestos. Two hundred, one fifty, one fifty, one fifty, three hundred. Okay. Oh, this is legitimately better. Okay. Well, that makes things a little easier.
any of it to be repaired. Okay, I need a lot of adhesive. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do anything because I need like a boatload of adhesive. Okay, we do that. And we'll go ahead hunting. Super mutants yet, or good news. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job. Hey. Thanks, Matt. By the way, we've decided to support the minute. We've gotta help each other if we want this to get Hey. Oh, cool. Thanks. go from the scrap palace I thought I was a panda. So someone here. Ah, screw it. Congratulate you have been upgraded to Sugar Glider. That ain't good, that ain't good, that ain't good.
Oh, I'm almost dead. Let's pop two of those. God damn it. to goddamn town. Alright, take it easy, Melissa. Thank you for dropping by. Kaba, thank you for being so understanding. Come on. I'm cracked out on like three different types of drugs. Let's let's roll. Actually, settlers there. Sorry. Hey, oh. Hey. How may I be of service? Here you 
go, Ada. One slightly dented, but still functional radar beacon. This will do nicely. And, with any luck, it'll help us trace the mechanist's signal. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll do the trick. I certainly hope so. I'm going to begin my decryption routine, but it could take a while. In the meantime... So, where exactly is the last Robo-Brain located? Yes. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? If my calculations are correct, the signal is coming from... Oh, this isn't good. Location confirmed. The Robo-Brain is at Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which means it's in the hands of the Rust Devils. Rust Devils, huh? Ooh, scary. You shouldn't be so dismissive. My old caravan encountered them once while crossing the river into the city. The Rust Devils are a group of ruthless raiders who utilize robots for their nefarious practices. They scour the Commonwealth looking for my kind. What they can't capture and reprogram, they strip for spare parts. Damn. I realize they pose a greater threat to me than you. I just want you to be well informed. That being said, despite what lies ahead, I can easily continue to decrypt the signal as we proceed. So shall we be on our way? Hell yeah. Alright. Hmm. And I believe I already have that on my map. was that? Let's take them out. Hey, level 34. amount of time it said. Not exactly. Getting lucky. Well,
Sorry, try again. Yeah, you might want to send more of your robots out. Shut the fuck up. See what we're dealing with. Well, hang on. Ooh, I am on a lot of drugs right now. And I haven't even hit up a chem station to make them even better. Boom. Hello, everybody. up you can try not sure how successful you'll be since you were well hey <laughs> Disintegration. Ooh, more shotgun shit. I 
I just give me your helmet. Even though I literally just blew your face off. Ooh, yes. Duct tape. Wrong way. Should have brought my helmet. Can I? Because I cannot see shit in here. Wait, what was that? Ahab. I was literally trying to talk to him. Shut the fuck up. Like one of the rust devils. 
hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. Hmm. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith as I describe our potential bargain. Okay. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? Uh. How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Okay. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Okay. I have a feeling if he was still around, that would have activated him. Eh, might as well get some free XP. Proceed with the getting the hell out of here. I'm really annoyed I don't have a flashlight right now. Or I can't see dick for dick right now. And that's where I came in. Why did it close? Is it because Homeboy activated? Yes, I have to use Maltops to actually see.
Wait, I guess I... I guess if I turn that... Okay. on that side. Is there something, another terminal I'm just not seeing? That's a high possibility. I know there's this one. gonna pop out of this for five seconds because it's more I just I legitimately can't see anything okay see in my defense fuck you that was hard to see Identify yourself. Breath Devil Gaming Terminal. Automatron. Okay. I have to make them crash into stuff? No.
You really are taking the path of most resistance here. God damn. There's we go. Thank you. Orders. Spoils has three. experience with you I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here not optimal an increase in effort could have an impact on the odds This is a 
one that ripped my head off. Scanners detecting sentient life. Alert level elevated. Now. Give me. If you find any spare parts, six of you are like half dozen of the other. Good job, human. Hey. Glad to be of service. Okay. Medium robot. damage all right took everything from you all right let us get the hell out of here wait actually something was requested of me Damn it, I was trying to blow her head off. What am I doing? Only fitting. Really? Jeez. Thank you. I cannot see shite, so I just want to get the hell out of here. Okay. Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Hey. Yeah. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. <laughs> Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. 
Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good hey. memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Cool. Okay. Well, first things first, we... Yep. Over to Red Rocket. The fuck? Okay, we are gonna save here. And actually, we are gonna call the stream for today. Thank you all for being here. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I will see you again, uh, again sometime soon.